All right, I want to talk a little bit about what I'm uh, working on here. I've got the 18 inch seismic in a 7.7 .7 cubic foot boxes with the woofer uh, displacing about 0.3 cubic feet, I think it is. Uh, two 4 inch ports, uh, and they're 4 inches deep. I think the box turned out real nice. Uh, made some cables just now. I made uh, actually using some seismic audio parts. Got the seismic audio's uh, speaker plates. I think they're like 10 or 12 bucks. I've got uh, some of their quarter inch connectors, made my own cables out of uh, architectural speaker wire. And I have that going into a PV 900 watt amp. The PV is bridged at 8 ohm. Uh, so this thing is getting a full 600 watts continuous power. Um, according to Parts Express, this, this does 600 watts uh, bridged to 8 ohms. Uh, got a Behringer um, dual equalizer and right now it's got a subwoofer crossover built into it so I'm kind of got the subs turned up I'm gonna just leave these at uh, flat response because I want to show what the subwoofer is like compared to the box modeling that I did um, this will afford me uh, a cleaner output um, but right now, just uh, I just want to have use the crossover that's built into the the ultra graph. Um, I've got a sweep software here. It's called Audio Sweep Generator. Uh, found it on Parts Express. Uh, somebody linked to it. It's really a great utility. It's got all kinds of different frequencies. Um, before I start testing the speaker, though, I want to talk to you uh, without it on because I tried to make another video and uh, the audio was just killing my voice. Um, ISD, one ISD, the, the box builder software. Uh, it's free on the CNET's download. Uh, it's got a peak here at 60 hertz, and then it starts to roll off at uh, 50, 40. Uh, by the time you're at 40, you've got uh, negative 3 decibel. It's, it's, in, it's inaudible. A lot of times they'll tell you all the way down to negative 10. Um, that doesn't work. Uh, this is my first box and really starting to work with uh, real-time analyzers and I can tell you that negative three is really really going to start killing your noise. Um, this box really likes uh, 50 hertz, uh, 60 hertz and uh, it really really resonates this entire house. Show you really what the excursion is on this. This is limited to 20. Uh, I had a 10 hertz on there and the thing was just really moving. I wish I could find uh, where I was playing that from. Um, but for this video, I'm just going to show you, uh, the, you know, how linear the sub is. It really doesn't do much at 20, uh, just moves a lot of air. And then uh, I'm going to go to uh, 36 hertz where I tune the box. Then I'm going to go up to 40 hertz, which is where negative 3 is at, uh, dB. And then I'm going to take it up to 60 uh, and then go, keep going up from there. Um, I won't be able to talk during the the uh, test, so just uh, bear with me.
walk over to the neighbors. Uh, they live just on the other side of that garage door about 50 meters. Um, she came out of the house thinking it was one of her son's friends in his car. Uh, the neighbor just down from her is a cop, so I can't be doing this a lot. But um, just to give you an idea of the test box, uh, ISD, pretty accurate. Uh, if you build a box, use WinISD, it seemed like it was dead on with the equalizer and the, uh, the feedback. Uh, you know, it lets me know where the feedback is. That's what lights I was looking at here. And um, of course, we weren't listening to feedback. We were listening to single frequencies, but it was showing me where the frequencies were. And when we got to 60 hertz, uh, 52 to 60, uh, I could stand in front of the sub and it was literally kicking the air out of my chest. It was uh, really awesome. I'll get an RTA on this thing uh, when I get it over to the church and uh, really get to get to turn it up. I didn't even have it up very loud. It was clipping this, this amp, um, but I had it louder earlier uh, before when I had the garage door open. Uh, everything in this room was, was rattling, especially around... Uh, 80 or 90 hertz. I have this set to 80 hertz uh, crossover on the back of the uh, back of the Behringer crossover here. It has a subwoofer output and then two mains. Uh, the subwoofer output uh, is cutting cutting off right here at 80 hertz. Uh, we did get up above 100 and it was still playing it, but um, I'm sure the the drop off is probably 12. Uh, download this is free. Uh, so is this audio sweep generator. Let you test your speakers. Um, I got a bunch of bass mechanic tracks from way back when my older brother had uh, speakers in his car. Um, but get out there and uh, and and build some boxes and have some fun and upload some videos and and show us what you built.